Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to week seven in the SNHU 107 learning community. Y'all, you only have two weeks left. I don't know about you, but I sure feel like this term has flown by. So today I'm just going to walk you through really quick your week seven, module seven assignments, and just talk to you about ensuring that you finish this term strong. As always, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It's our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. Couple of reminders, we are always in an academic space when you are here at the um, learning community webinars in your classroom study in SNHU Connect and in the first year experience YouTube page. These webinars are not mandatory, not graded, and there's no extra credit points awarded, but hopefully you have learned from them from week to week and you have a little bit of fun. So before we cover the week seven, module seven assignments, I just wanna really dive into ensuring you know how to finish this term strong. And I like to ask students every um, term this time of the year of the term, um, do you know how to assess yourself? Like, do you know how to kind of take a minute, pause and check in with yourself? Like, how are things going? What could be better? What could I change? So that's what I want you guys to think about today as I just talk really briefly. Um, I wanna make sure that you take a minute and pause and really ask yourself some hard questions about the term. You know, how did things go? What could you have done better? What were you good at? What did you struggle with? And just kind of remember that when you ask yourself those hard questions, you want to make sure we stay positive, we open up those lines of communication, and we take some action steps for our success. So asking those hard questions, hard truths, this can be tough. Um, I think sometimes it's easy for us to think about the things that we didn't do well. Um, versus what we did do well. So I want you to just sit for a minute and think about what is one thing that you are doing really well right now. This could be related to your academics here at SNHU. This could be outside the classroom, work, parenting life, you know, professional life, just personal life, whatever it might be. Um, what is something that you're like, yeah, I'm a rock star at this right now. I got this. Maybe it's like setting that SNHU time. Or maybe it was getting your work submitted on time. Maybe it's you've been able to manage your home household and adding school to your schedule. Um, whatever it is, celebrate it. I want to know what it is. Um, and then something to think about is like, what is one thing you could do better? Like if you kind of struggled with turning your assignments in right at the wire, like for the next couple of weeks or for next term, could you maybe work earlier in the week? So you're not stressed at the end of the week trying to, trying to get your assignments in and give yourself some more flexibility. Did you struggle with like your writing mechanics, like your grammar or your writing assignments or your confidence with your writing assignments? Maybe it's time to connect with um, the SNH2 academic support team and utilize their writing services. So it's always important to know like what is something you did well or a couple things you did well? What is one or two things you could probably do a little bit better? What can you do to make those changes and who can help me, right? We have talked all term so much about the power of using your SNHU resources and your social supports. You should be well versed in them. Um, so now this is the time to connect with them. But I want to remind you too that like there's such power in positivity. You know, not every week or every term or every year is going to just be sunshine and rainbows. There's going to be some major thunderstorms, maybe some hailstorms and tornadoes and hurricanes in there too. You know, life happens. Things change. Things come up. We might not have an awesome week. We might struggle somewhere. So just remember through it all to put a smile on your face. You are here, you are getting your degree, you are working it. Not everybody gets that opportunity. And just remember to believe in you. You are so worth this journey. And if you find yourself stuck or struggling, remember to open up those lines of communication for your success. You know, make appointments with like the academic support team or see if you can meet with your instructor if you're struggling in your class or your advisor. You know, send an email to that SNHU department or your instructor or your advisor, same, send them text message, you know, pick up the phone. If SNHU people are trying to get a hold of you, there's a reason. So, you know, really open up the lines and communicate for your success. But this also applies to outside the classroom. You know, like if you are struggling with some things at work or some things in your personal or home life, you know, this is the time to kind of like sit down with those people at work or at home and talk about things that maybe you struggled with or things you would like that worked well that you would like to keep going to help you be your most successful so that you can achieve your dreams of getting that college degree. 
And you guys know, we've talked about it all term long here in SNHU 107, like use your SNHU resources. There is so much support here for your success from our academic support team that has that writing assistance and the amazing tutors. Um, there's the peer mentor team. You have the SNU 107 learning community. You got the help desk. If there's tech issues, your faculty, do not be afraid to reach out to your faculty. Utilize those advisors. They're hidden gems. They can connect you to everybody. You got the library, you got the career center. Like there's just so much at your fingertips and you're missing out if you're not connecting with them for your success. So don't let that happen to you. As we've talked about this term too, those short-term goals, right? Those action steps, those little things that we can do consistently or little goals we can put in place that can happen here within the next six months to really keep us on track to achieving our mission statement, right? Which is earning our degree. Um, so I like to leave you guys with this part is, you know, today is the day to make those changes and put those action steps into place. Whatever you put down for your goals, let's get them ready to go, ready to rock. Um, nothing changes if nothing changes. So don't just have these goals or have these things you want to do, but not do anything about it. This is the time to take that action. So I want to remind you, like, what are you going to do about it? This is your journey. We are so proud of you. We're in week seven. So let's keep going so that you can finish your courses strong, but also really set yourself up for success um, here at the university as you move into your next term, because that's going to be coming here before we know it, right? So I want to take just a quick minute and run you guys through that final project example one more time. Um, as a reminder, if you need like more of an in-depth kind of overview of the project, you want to check out that week six SNHU 107 Learning Community webinar, because the um, one of the academic support coaches and I talked about utilizing the writing assistance that the academic support team offers, but we also walked through this more in depth. What I'm going to show you today is going to be pretty quick. Um, but as a reminder, you want to go into your classroom under learning modules, go to module seven. Now you will notice when you get in module seven, you do have a discussion assignment, but this is not graded. This is completely optional. You do not have to do this discussion. It is here so that if you wanted to ask questions or share like tips about writing the, your project or putting things together or talk about things that have been helpful for you this term, this is a place to share it. Um, again, this discussion for module seven, week seven is not graded. Um, and as a reminder, do not upload any part of your project to this discussion. This is just kind of an open opportunity for you to kind of just share things that maybe are working for you as you put together this project, or maybe some um, some success, like successful prioritizing your time strategies that kind of came up this term or things you learned this term that were really helpful just to kind of share with your peers. Um, it's always great to hear from y'all like how things are going and what you're really proud of. So that's a great space for that. Um, then you have this 7-2 project submission, create an academic success plan. This is that final project. So when you click on guidelines and rubric, um, it's going to open up an overview like it has every other week um, and directions of the actual project, right? But you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Sometimes students miss this. Down here, you have the project rubric, reminds you how you're going to be graded. But what I wanted to point out is you have a template, an academic success plan template, just like you have in previous modules, okay? So remember, click the blue, get to where you wanna go. So when you click on that template and you're gonna open it up, you'll be able to type right in it. Notice you can find it here, but also under supporting materials, the project template is also right here. So either one of those spots. But what I wanted to show you is there's an actual example of this project to give you kind of a foundation for where to start and how to get this done and what it should look like when it's finished for you. Do not, this is my like, PSA, do not copy this project example word for word or even take a sentence out of it word for word because you want to make sure that you are putting your own answers in and having your own work when you upload it, okay? This is just a great way to see how questions should be answered. So once you click on the project example um, right here, it's gonna pull up this lovely document, okay? So as a reminder, what I wanted to point out for you guys is this project is here for you to give you that foundation of how to start. So when you open up the template, you'll be able to type in it like you have every other week. And you're gonna be answering these questions. So what I wanted to show you is just an example of like how this student answered these questions. So question one is identify a problem solving technique or method you have used in a previous situation and explain how it helped you. Okay, how might problem solving methods be different in diverse cultures or fields of work? How can effective problem solving help you in an academic journey? So question one is all about problem solving. 
notice there's three questions within question one. So make sure you answer each one. Think about problem solving techniques you've learned about this term. Think about things that you've used from your personal or professional or academic experience. That'll help you answer these questions. Question two, identify your learning style and explain how knowing or learning about that learning style helps support your success throughout this term. So remember, previous module, we learned our learning styles back in module two. So if you can't remember what that might be or how it, what it was named, go back to module two, look at that assignment you submitted for um, your journal assignment list your learning style so you'll notice here my learning style is read slash write learning style and then how it supported their success okay um and how they like helped them this term so answer it there question three identify which of the five successful habits of an snhu student have been most helpful for you throughout the course explain how those habits have helped you so whatever you resonated with or whatever those you know whatever those habits stuck out to you put them in here you know for like for example this student logging in early and reaching out for help were the two successful SNHU habits that helped them the most and then explain how that helped them. Question four, explain how you will stay on track in your courses and overcome interruptions that may impact your schedule. Okay, this is where you just answer it. How are you going to stay on track? What do you want to do? This student's making a to-do list. You know, they're going to work closely with their advisor and instructor. What is their biggest interruption and how are they going to overcome it? Okay, question number five is to choose two SNHU resources. So reminder, those are departments and resources that are part of SNHU. And then two, social support. So people, places, things outside of the university that'll help you with achieving your mission and goals and prioritizing your time. So you'll notice the student listed, okay, SNHU resource, they chose their instructor, here's why. Second SNHU resource, they chose academic support and then they explained why. And then two social supports, listed them and explained why, okay? So that is through question five. Question six is, and seven, this is really important to go back to that module four journal assignment that you had. You can just, you know, if you didn't have any, you know, changes or updates or you weren't missing anything, just this is a copy paste section for you then um, from module four. You could just put your ac personal academic mission statement right here. And then question number seven is to make sure you list those three short term academic goals. So if you looked back at module four and you were maybe missing pieces or parts of your short term goals, um, or your academic mission statement, this is a great place to make sure that you just added those things. But some of you might have not had any changes, so copy and paste them right in here. So that's an easy check box, right? Um, question eight is to explain the importance of setting goals on your academic journey. So share your thoughts. Remember to write in complete sentences. Question nine, how are you going to stay motivated to achieve your goals and mission statement based on what you've learned in SNUM 107? So you really want to think about like what keeps you motivated and like what you've learned, like how are you going to stay on track? So answer that question. Question 10 is explain why an awareness of diversity is beneficial to giving and receiving feedback when collaborating with others. So why is this important for you to be aware of other people, how they work, how they think, different perceptions and actions, right? So think about both your life here in school. You can also think about your life outside of school, personally, professionally, and explain why that awareness of diversity is beneficial when it comes to feedback, right? Question 11 Explain why it is important to take ownership, be vulnerable, ask for help, and have an open mind to achieve your goals. Remember, we talked about vulnerability a lot in Module 5. So if you want to go back and visit kind of your thoughts and your feelings and perspective for Module 5, this is a great place to tie those things in together here. Um, being vulnerable just means that you're open, um, you're willing to connect with others, you're willing to accept um, assistance or reach out for that assistant. Like, why is that important? And question 12, the last one. What was your biggest takeaway from this course? So what was the biggest like success tip or concept or terminology or habit that really resonated with you? Like the most powerful thing that you took away that you're taking away from this SNHU 107 course. What is it? This is how the student answered it. You want to think about how student 107 has impacted you, what you're going to use from it, and what is your biggest thing that you're going to keep um, remembering as you move from course to course. And that's it. Save it, upload it under module seven, just like you've done with those previous assignments. This is a great time to connect with the academic support writing services team use that written feedback tool 
um, get another set of eyes on this project and then get it uploaded for your success. So as a reminder, this academic success plan slash final project is due by Sunday of week seven, module seven. You can always turn it in earlier, like always. Um, and then remember that discussion assignment is not graded. It's just an opportunity for you to share your thoughts, feedback, um, any questions that you might have. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for week seven. Don't forget to check in and watch the last final week eight learning community webinar where we celebrate you and all of your success. We are so proud of you. Finish strong. And remember, you got this. Happy week seven.